There are a lot of factors that can be attributed to making SSDs cheaper, from things like economies of scale to the development of new efficient technologies. In this video, we'll look at one of those technologies, and that is host memory buffer technology, or HMB for short. So let's look at how HMB SSDs work and what are the benefits of using HMB SSDs over, let's say, DRAMless SSDs. We have a video on that as well. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Let's first briefly understand what DRAM is and why it's important in SSDs before we touch on HMB technology. DRAM stands for dynamic random access memory and this type of memory RAM module is mounted on an SSD's PCB. It is used to store data mapping tables and these tables keep track of all the logic blocks and the physical location of these logic blocks. In short, this allows SSDs to be very quick at tracking and accessing random data requests. This is obviously a desired quality. You want your storage device to be able to track and access stored data as fast as possible. SSDs with DRAMs can perform much better as compared to SSDs that don't have DRAM. The issue is that DRAM can add a significant cost to SSDs. On average, DRAM can cost up to 10 times more than regular flash storage. So by removing DRAMs from SSDs to make DRAMless SSDs, they can be significantly cheaper, which is great for budget-minded consumers. This is also necessary for small NVMe SSDs as there isn't normally much room for the controller, flash storage, and DRAM chips on the same PCB. So by removing the DRAM, it allows compact SSDs like, for example, our Sabrent 2230 size SSD. However, this design change can be at the cost of losing out on performance, especially if your work requires high reading operations. DRAMless SSDs can also be known to have signal integrity tuning issues during data transfers, which is not a desirable quality that you want to have in an SSD, obviously. This weakness in DRAMless SSDs results in designers looking at ways to improve DRAMless SSDs. The result was HMB technology. Host memory buffer technology allows SSDs to proactively utilize memory resources of the host system's CPU to increase the performance of the SSD. This feature was first introduced in the NVMe 1.2 specification. Supported SSDs can use HMB to increase the performance of the SSD without depending on DRAM. The NVMe 1.2 specification outlines how HMB should use host memory to boost the performance of the SSD. It also puts down conditions and restrictions on the usage of the host CPU memory resources to ensure no data is lost or corrupted in case of accidental drive removal. So let's look at how exactly HMB increases the performance of DRAMless SSDs. Previously, I mentioned how DRAMs on SSDs store mapping tables. These logical two physical tables, or L2Ps for short, keep track of how all the data is physically stored on the SSD. It gives logical mapping of the data to the operating system so that it doesn't have to keep track of all the internal data movements inside the SSD thus increasing the speed and performance of the SSD. A DRAMless SSD can't do this, well, because it doesn't have DRAM to store all of these tables. This is where HMB technology comes in. HMB SSDs are able to move the L2P tables to host system's memory, where they can be utilized by the OS, similar to SSDs with DRAM. So HMB SSDs provide a cost benefit of the DRAMless SSDs while providing close performance to SSDs that have DRAM. A few things to keep in mind about HMB is that there are a few prerequisites for it to work. Firstly, the operating system of the host system needs to support HMB. Secondly, it also needs to support the standard NVMe 1.2. And thirdly, and most importantly, the SSD itself obviously has to support HMB. The benefits of this technology is that HMB enabled SSDs improves performance in random reads. They are operations where data of a predetermined size is called from the storage device on the request of the host system, i.e. your computer. 
DRAMless SSDs, on the other hand, can be pretty bad with these random read operations. Another great advantage of using an HMB SSD is that they are smaller than SSDs with DRAM because in DRAM SSDs, physical space must be allocated for the DRAM module. So HMB SSDs are a great alternative to DRAM SSDs if a space is the constraint. Since HMB SSDs don't have to cater for a DRAM chip, it also means that it can draw less power and have better thermal characteristics. But the major advantage of HMB SSDs is normally the bang for buck. An average user can enjoy most of the benefits of a high speed NVMe SSD at sometimes a fraction of the cost. HMB technology provides a lot of benefits to consumers, as you can see. So next time you are shopping for an SSD with HMB, hopefully this video has helped you understand it a little bit more. But that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.